okay, buddy? Ooh. Where are we? We're trying to figure out where climbs are. Mike does all the hard work. I go around and take pictures of lizards. <laughs> Welcome to our tour of your traditional style Japanese accommodations. Here we are entering the mudroom of sorts. Um, you are expected to remove any footwear here. Um, so as not to damage the tatami floor that is um, in the main room here. Also in the main room you have your table with two pads, um, an area so that you can make your bed in the evening. I'll explain that in a moment. Um, also, a small TV, telephone, and some kind of shrine, maybe, type thing. Don't know. Um, there is also a nice little sitting area where you could sip on a cup of tea in the morning and enjoy the view of the garden below. And, um, of course, they have not forgotten about the mini fridge. Yeah. Uh, and over here we have the bedding. Um, this is just comforter, flat sheets, pillows. Because you are expected to make your own little nest on the floor over here. Um, in this closet there are mats, I guess, um, that you essentially just lay out on the floor in any way you'd like. And that's it. That's your bed. Here's the sink room with uh, what was once a shower um, that they locked up but Mike pried open to see if the shower was actually in there <laughs> because kayak.com said it was. Um, over here is the bathroom with your um, traditional style Japanese toilet as well as slippers that are specific for the bathroom and of course labeled toilet. Now as for your toilet, well the Japanese have taken the toilet and made it better. Why? Because they've included a sink on top so that when you flush, the clean water comes out of the faucet and you can rinse your hands. Brilliant. <laughs> anyway, so um, also down here we have our bidet options, which happen to all be in Japanese, so I have no idea what they say. But I can tell you one thing, I love the bidet. Anyway, that uh, concludes our tour of your traditional style Japanese accommodations. I hope you enjoyed it.